hey guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing today i hope your day is fine and i hope you're doing great today's video i want to show you how to make this um yoke strip okay so this is actually a gown i am making um this is um, a three quarter length fitted gown with um a front slit and so i actually have a, a similar video of that so i'm not going to concentrate on that one and so i just want to show you how um, this yoke strip is achieved. Okay, so for that video, I will have it linked up in the description box. I have um, several videos on how to make a fitted um, gown, and also I also had a video on how to make um, a gown as well with a front slit. Okay, yeah. So this one now, this is the upper part. This is the half length cord. You can see I've already um, created this with my breast cord. So this was a princess that. So I've gone ahead to do the joining. Okay, as you can see. Okay, and also this is the neckline. This is more like um, a boat neckline I used. It was a neck width of five and the neck depth of um, 3.5. That's what I used here. So what I will do now is to fold this into two. I'm going to fold in this um, on the back side so that I can cut out the yoke. Ideally for a yoke, um, seven inches is okay um, for the yoke. So that's what I'm going to use. So from this shoulder point here, I've just indicated them um, seven inches mark so it's also important to take note of this you know you'll be left with um, the lower part now so you need to also be sure of where your line is going to stop if you need to move upward it's better so that you can always add the allowance where you're cutting your yoke okay so i want the yoke to actually stop at seven inches so i'm stopping at seven inches here which means by the time i'm going to be sewing using lining to turn this um, lower part is going to come down to 7.5. But because there's also going to be a joining at the shoulder part, it will also make up for it. So at the end of the day, it will still go back to 7 inches. I hope you understand that. So I'll just go ahead and cut this out. So the 7 inches mark. So here we have it now. So this one will be set aside. Once we're done creating... Um, the strip that we can now attach it to this upper part and so here we have this yoke now so i'll take a piece of paper because i'll be doing this um, on the paper so i'll place this i have the paper on fold so i'm placing it this way so you can see um this is the yoke i'll just cut i remember it's seven inches okay but i also need to still add extra allowances because we'll be joining it to the lower parts okay and also um, there will be still be a joining at the shoulder part, so I'm going to add extra um, 1.5 inch. So I'm just going to mark it and um, draw a straight line. So here I'll just trace it. So here I have it drawn out. So what I'll do now is just to trace it all out so here i have my cutout so if i open it up so this is what i'm going to be working with so in order to create this shape i'm going to be making use of this um bias tape okay so of course this just depend on the designs that you want to create here okay so um ideally it's important to have a sketch of how you want um, your strip to go okay sometimes if you want it to be in a straight form or in a cross form you just need to give the sketch of how you want it to be so once you're done creating all these lines the next thing is to what take your strip your bias tape and what start sewing on every line okay i mean it's very very easy just follow the line when you sew cut and continue we'll be sewing on each line you have done after that we we'll cross it over and complete it okay so once you're done you see you have everything in place and that's it guys like this is it so if you have it ready please take note do not tear off the paper at this point it's important to finish making the outfit before you do because if you do that it will be a little bit difficult because you know you'll be having the holes so it might be difficult for you to you know attach it especially if you're trying this for the first time so once you already have your 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 um, strip all attached here then you can now what join it to this 
the lower part. Just remember also you're going to be taping the neckline. Yeah, you tape it. So you just practically continue with the um, other outfit. Join it to the shoulder, tape the neckline, join it to the back piece. If you're also doing the same thing for the back piece, you can also go ahead and do that. Or maybe you want to just do a normal neckline. Okay, you can also go ahead and do that. So finish up with joining the shoulder, join the sleeve. Just complete the outfit first before you can now what tear off the paper. Okay, that's it, guys. It's that easy. It's that easy. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, guys. If you find this helpful, please do not forget to um like share and if you've not subscribed to my channel please don't forget to do that as well remember to turn the notification bell also that you get notified every single time i upload my weekly videos thank you so so much guys for doing this with me till i see you on the next one guys bye for now